Hey guys, Greg here with Lens Pro To Go. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. We are here at Lens Pro To Go. We just got in a special delivery from Panasonic, the EVA1. So I got to see this camera earlier this year at Cinegear when Panasonic announced it. I haven't been able to get hands on with it, so I'm not quite sure what to expect, but there is some really interesting features and specs about this camera that I'm gonna dive into a little bit later. For now, let's get right into the unboxing. Good, a box within a box. Without shaking the camera too much. Get that other box out of there. Get some more cardboard, some styrofoam. Um, ah, so this makes it easy. There is all of the accessories. So we have a battery charger, a power adapter, just this little guy. Uh, there's the battery. We have cable, strap, not sure why you'd use that. Microphone mount, and then an accessory for the microphone mount, I think to actually mount it onto the camera. Then we got the very small manual. Uh, this can't be the whole manual. Okay, little tiny manual, thin book. Styrofoam, you got the monitor in this nice pink bubble wrap. It's got a pop-up hood, it's kind of nice. It stays shut. And the screw mounts, very similar to like the FS5, FS7 mount. And the last thing, here it is, the EVA1. It's beautiful, isn't it? No, I'm just kidding. Here it is, look at that. Got our battery slot on the back, got some XLR ports. We got a side grip that's mounted to it. I like it. It's really light. It's very similar in weight to, I would say almost like the FS5. It's quite a bit lighter than the FS7 for sure. Very similar body style as well, having that sort of rounded back end with the top handle and side grip. It's got a quick lock on the side here for the handle. That's kind of nice. Quick release top so you don't need tools. That's always good. You got all your normal buttons that most of these cameras have nowadays right on the side. You have your HDMI and SDI ports on the back your big battery slot. Uh, you have space for two SD cards right here on the back. You can see those, yep. Right on the back here, you have a USB port, which should allow for a USB dongle, which should give you some extra functionality. I'm not exactly quite sure what all of those functionalities will be yet, but it's there for future updates. So some quick camera specs. I'm gonna do a more in-depth video later if you wanna see more specs about it, but it has a 5.7K sensor, you can see the ND filters are actually rotated in there a little bit. But there's a 5.7K sensor in here which downsamples to 4K so you get a really sharp 4K recording. It can shoot 10-bit 422 internally. It can do 2K at 240 frames a second and 4K at 60 frames a second. Pretty standard specs for a camera in this price range. But this camera does something a little bit different. It borrows the dual native ISO from the Vericam series. So it has two native ISOs. One is at 800 and one is at 2500. This should allow for much better ISO performance. It's a little bit tricky to explain, so just make sure to stay tuned and I'll have another video coming out explaining the whole dual native ISO thing. If you're wondering where this camera sits in the marketplace, it's right around the C200, FS7, and maybe even into that C300 Mark II market. It's definitely higher than the FS5 and the C100 Mark II, especially being 4K, but you don't get a lot of the raw capabilities that you do with those other cameras. I definitely plan on doing some more extensive tests on the Panasonic EVA1. So if you guys wanna see anything from it, let me know in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you or actually add it into my next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more EVA1 content. I have tons of videos planned, tests, comparisons, all kinds of stuff. And again, if you guys wanna see anything about it, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.